Hello everyone. Welcome you all to this new video. So in my previous video, we had discussed with the concept of overlap save method and uh, how the algorithm works. We have seen it. So in this video, we are going to be continuing with the same linear filtering sequence method. One more sequence method that is also called as overlap add method. Okay. So again, these videos are only for the members who those have taken. So those who have not taken the membership, please inform them to take it and uh, get access to this members only videos. Okay. So these videos would be very, very helpful for you all in the exam point of view. So please consider it. Okay. So let us uh, continue with the concept that is today's concept is all about overlap add method. Okay. So how it, it is different from overlap save method, which, which we have discussed in the previous video. Let us discuss that. So in this method, the size of the input data block is L points and the size of the DFTs and IDFTs are given by L is equal to N is equal to L plus M minus one. So this remains the same as previously the, which we have seen for the overlap save method. There is no change here. To each data block, we append M minus one zeros and compute the N point DFTs and the data blocks may be represented as given sequences here. That is X one of N x2 of n x3 of n they have given it here subsequences and how they are different from overlap save method that we are going to be comparing here okay so in case of overlap save method we have used to be appending the zeros only for the first sequence at the beginning right at the beginning in order to equate the sequence we used to be doing it but here in this case of overlap add method for all the sequences we should be appending zeros and without considering the previous sequence the based on the length of the sequence which is mentioned here n is equal to l plus m minus 1 equate the sequence with respect to the main sequence and then put the zeros at the end for the each sequence that is x1 of n x2 of n and x3 of n okay as mentioned here you see here for the first sequence x uh, the input sequence is taken from the main sequence uh, 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 as uh, whatever the n value we get based on that number of elements are taken from that sequence that is x x naught x1 up to x of l minus 1 okay followed by zeros number of zeros okay in order to equate the se sequence how many zeros are required so those things you need to be putting it here for each sequence okay x2 of n and x3 of n and so on okay so you should be doing this until we get until we reach in the main sequence we are not left with any elements until then you should be doing this procedure okay so this is one thing one variation with respect to overlap save method so now you see here the two endpoint DFTs <coughs> are multiplied together to form y of m k y m of k is equal to h of k x m of k where k is equal to 0 to n minus 1. So the two endpoint DFTs are multiplied in order to get this sequence. Okay. So now with respect to IDFT which from of this previous sequence that is the IDFT yields the data blocks of length n that are free from aliasing since the size of the DFTs as well as IDFTs is given by n is equal to L plus M minus 1. Okay. So with respect to that, uh, with respect to aliasing, they are free. So that's why we cannot be appending any, uh, we cannot be deleting or removing any data with, uh, when we get the final sequence after the convolution part. Okay. So after this, the convolution part remains the same. That is y, y1 of n is equal to x1 of n into h of n. Okay. After that, you do the IDFT and uh, take its convolution then after that uh, there is no required for aliasing because there is no aliasing happening here so that's why we cannot be deleting any elements from the final sequence okay instead of that there is one more method which we are doing that uh, we are let's discuss later so and the sequences are increased to n points by appending zeros to each block okay so that we have already done it here since each data block is terminated with m minus one zeros the last m minus one points from each output block must be overlapped and added to the first m minus one points of the succeeding block. Okay, so that is uh, that uh, what whatever it is you see here, the three sequences we get right for uh, consider if you are having three input sequences x1, x2, x3. If we take the convolution with respect to the impulse response h of n, we would be getting y1, y2, y3. Right. So based on those three sequences, we are going to be putting them together. But before putting together, you should be adding the consider y1 is the first sequence. The last element of the first sequence 
you should be adding it with the first element of the upcoming sequence that is y2 okay followed by the same thing again the last element of y2 should be added with the first element of y3 and in such a way you should be writing the sequence okay okay so that is meant by the statement here that is you see here for input data block l l l x1 of n at the end you should be adding m minus 1 zeros x2 of n n minus 1 zeros are added x3 of n m minus 1 zeros are added okay so uh, and uh, for all the sequence it is equal to l itself okay there you should be equating it to l okay but for output data you see here we are getting y1 of n y2 of n y3 of n and the last element of y1 of n and the first element of y2 of n these two are m minus 1 points which are added together okay you should be adding them and whatever the result you get that you should be writing separate in the final sequence okay so that's why these two should be added again these two should be added y2 of n and y3 of n's first element and then whatever the answer we get after adding combine it with the final sequence and write it as the final sequence y of n okay yeah so in this way the procedure of overlap add method works so hope this is clear if they ask for the exam uh, explain the procedure of overlap add method these things whatever is mentioned in this notes you should be writing it down okay so this notes i have already pinned it in the video's description okay go and access it and based uh, uh, in uh, in this notes we are having some important problems as well go through it okay and uh, study them study all the problems because this is a very uh, standard notes handwritten uh, which you won't be getting anywhere so please access this notes okay and uh, inform others as well those who have not taken the membership to take it and uh, uh, access these videos because this is a one time investment guys believe me you would be scoring 100% uh, you would be passing 100% this subject okay 100% you would be passing and you would be scoring very very good marks okay so please it is a one time investment take it okay it would be useful for you it would be useful for me as well to grow my channel okay so help me and help yourself and do good in the exams